Hey, these past few weeks, we've been talking about selling your home, leveraging your home's value and your equity and becoming a millionaire in real estate. But it all starts with selling, right? So let's get into lowball offers and they do exist. Nobody likes them. But what do you do when you get a lowball offer? Well, here's the first thing. Any offer is a good offer because it means somebody's interested enough in your house to put it on paper and submit it over to you. So keep that in mind. What don't you do? Do not get emotional. And for heaven's sakes, please don't let your realtor get emotional about it either. That's not an effective negotiating tactic, especially for an asset this size. Number two, don't start your negotiations verbally, seeing if you can talk them up or figure out what's going on. The best thing is to put your response in writing and get it back over to the buyer's side of the transaction and get the negotiations going. Look, first offer, best offer, maybe. But at the end of the day, it's not where a buyer starts, it's where a buyer ends. And can that ending be the same point that you're willing to go for? You won't know any of it until you take the emotion out of it put it in writing and move forward through the negotiations process. I recently had an escrow opened where we went back and forth a total of six times to get to the point where everybody could agree. We stayed in the process, we took the emotion out of it, and we got to a successful point in the negotiation to open the escrow. So if you've got questions, hey, I'm always ready to have a cup of coffee with you and go over any and all of it. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you soon. Take care.